a very good morning students welcome to this video on general anatomy and the chapter is blood vessels and here we will discuss today what are portal veins where they are found in our bodies okay because these portal veins they serve a very important okay function in our body okay otherwise a vein is formed only after the capillaries after the arterial end of the capillaries okay it becomes the venule end and the vein is formed but the portal vein are somewhat different veins okay and we will see just now now how a portal vein is formed okay then usually only one capillary plexus is present between an artery and vein when i say the artery it means the terminal arteriole that is the last arteriole which will break up here okay carrying the oxygenated blood in the body tissue and will form a network this network of the blood vessel is called as the capillary the other end of this capillary network will form a venule and this will form a vein which will ultimately drain to a larger vein and larger vein will drain the blood into the heart this is the usual pattern in most of the tissues of the body but then there are some places in our body where hmm, there is the presence of a different type of vein which is called as the portal vein okay so at some places after formation of one capillary plexus just a minute for example this is one kind of the capillary plexus our normal capillary arteriole is here and here is the formation of the venule okay and this is the first set of our capillary plexus which is a normal kind of the plexus so after formation of one capillary plexus or one set of capillary plexus this vein okay it again breaks up into an another capillary plexus and this capillary plexus has both the ends okay of the venous blood okay and then it breaks up here into the capillary plexus thus in this kind of the uh, blood vessel there are two sets of capillary plexus here you are seeing the first set of the capillary plexus whose one end is the having the arterial blood other end is venous blood and then after running for short distance this vein once again will break up into the capillary plexus which is not always okay in our body with most of the places and after this formation of second set of the capillary plexus once again the vein will form which will gradually drain into the larger veins okay thus there are two sets of the capillary plexus and the vein or vessel which is between these two sets of the ca capillary plexus is called as portal vein i hope that you must have understood what is a portal vein thus we can define that a portal vein is a vein which lies between two sets of the capillary plexus i hope it is clear to you now portal veins are found at various places in our body okay now these are the places where you get the portal vein and there they serve very important per function or purpose now the first place where you get the portal vein is between intestine our intestine is quite large there is a large intestine and a small intestine where the digestion of the food i mean say the absorption not digestion but the absorption of the food and water is taking place minerals and salts are absorbed okay which means they all absorbed from the intestine and then this hmm, uh, intestinal blood goes to the liver okay go and this there is presence of the portal veins this kind of the portal vein is called as hepatic portal system this is the hepatic portal system second place is in the kidney and this kind of portal veins in our kidney naturally are called as renal portal system 
the third site in our body where portal veins are found is between the hypothalamus which is the part of the brain and hypophysis cerebri which is the pituitary gland so there is a portal vein between the hypothalamus and the hypophysis cerebri or pituitary gland and this portal system is called as hypothalamo hypophysial portal system of vein then the last place where we can get the portal vein in our body is in the suprarenal gland and this portal vein is extending between the cortex and medulla of the gland itself and this is called a suprarenal portal system now i have told you that these are the four sites where we get the portal veins now we will learn about these four sites in detail so that you can understand what are the special functions of these portal veins now let us come to the first site where we get the hepatic portal system of the vein now here the first capillary network is in intestine this is a very simplified diagram this is a piece of the intestine say for example it is the sort uh, small intestine and in the wall of the small intestine you can see here i have drawn the capillary plexus and this is the first set of capillary plexus okay and after formation of the venule on the ven venous side of this capillary plexus a vein is formed okay and this vein is the portal vein because when it will go into the liver this portal vein it will once again break up into the secondary site of the portal or uh, secondary site of the capillary plexus. plexus so this second set of the capillary plexus is present in liver which we call as the liver sinusoids and then this will unite to form hepatic vein which will ultimately drain into the inferior vena cava and then the blood will be carried to the heart okay so now in the hepatic portal system there are two sets of the capillaries one is in the intestine and another is in the liver that means all the blood which is absorbed through the intestine i mean say all the nutrients that is carbohydrate protein fat water minerals vitamins they all are absorbed from our intestine by the first set of capillary plexus then they are carried through this hepatic portal system or portal vein here to the liver where it comes in contact with the liver cells okay hepatocytes as they are called as liver cells and there the actual metabolism or actual digestion of the food takes place where our food breaks into the simpler form okay and this is with the help of the liver cell thus this plays an important role in the metabolic process these two system okay of the uh, capillaries okay and then intervening vein is called as the portal vein okay going to the next set of the capillaries i mean the portal vein now this is the second set of the renal portal system which is present in the kidney this renal portal system where the first set of the capillary is the renal glomeruli or uh, the glomerulus you are seeing here where my pointer is moving this is the glomerulus which is with the afferent arteriole and the blood comes to the glomerulus and goes out through the efferent arterioles okay and then this once again breaks up into an another capillary that means the first set is the glomerulus and second set is the peritubular capillaries that means the proximal distal convoluted tubules and the hmm, distal convoluted tubules around which there will be an another set of the capillary plexus okay this will be close to the uh, capsule of the kidney but when it will in the deeper part this Uh, the afferent and efferent arterioles which are coming out from this the glomerulus the efferent arteriole in the medulla will break up into the vasa recta okay parallel running blood vessel and this is the second set of the capillaries okay so there will be two different types of second sets of capillary one is the peritubular capillaries and second set of the capillary is the vasa recta and whatsoever blood vessel lies between the glomerulus and peritubular capillary are 
glomerulus and the vasa recta they are the example of the renal portal system of the blood vessel these portal veins which are especially in the vasa recta they help to reabsorb the essential constituent of glomerular filtrate as you must be knowing that the glomerular filtrate is quite i mean say in a large quantity okay um, about 180 liters are the is the glomerular filtrate which is get absorbed again by this um, this uh, second set of the capillary that is vasa recta or the peritubular capillaries thus they saw a very important purpose here again in the renal portal system uh, which is present in the kidney now this is the third set of the portal system okay where <laughs> the first set of the capillary are in the hypothalamus and as i said hypothalamus is the part of the uh, brain and then from here again a portal vein starts which traverses through the infundibular stalk of the posterior pituitary then it goes inside the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis where it breaks up again into the second set of the capillaries uh, thus the vein between these two sets of capillary is again a portal vein what is the purpose of this the hypothalamus secretes some releasing factor or release inhibiting factor from the neurons okay endocrine neurons of this uh, hypothalamus okay supraoptic and paraventricular nucleus and this really i mean it's not supraoptic this is the median eminence this uh, hormones are released in this and these hormones are carried through this portal vein and then this act on to the cells of the anterior pituitary gland and they stimulate or they inhibit the secretion of the anterior pituitary gland thus the control of the secretion of the anterior pituitary uh, hormones is by the under control of the neurons of the hypothalamus okay which are secreting the releasing or release inhibiting factors okay thus this portal vein is serving a very important purpose okay uh, and this is that's why called as hypothalamo hypophysial portal system of vein now this is the last place where we get the portal system of vein which is present in the suprarenal gland or adrenal gland the first set of the capillary plexus is just beneath the capsule or in the cortex okay and then this Uh, veins they go directly down into the ma medulla which is deeply situated in the suprarenal gland there it again breaks up into one more set of the capillary plexus and all the veins between these two sets of the capillary plexus one which is in the cortex and another which is present in the medulla okay is again a part of the portal system of the bone veins and this is called as suprarenal portal system what is the utility of this portal system in this type of the portal system the chemicals which are released in the cortex okay cortex they are brought from the cortex to that of the medulla through this portal system of the veins and these chemicals which were released into the cortex are necessary for the secretion of the hormones of the medulla and the hormones of the medulla are epinephrine and the norepinephrine this will be secreted only when the chemicals which are coming from the cortex okay through this portal system of vein thus you will see that the portal system is nothing but but a vein system of the vein which lies between the two capillary uh, plexus okay a proximal and a distal capillary plexus and they serve very important purpose okay that's why it breaks up into two different capillary plexus i hope that you must have understood the portal system and its function well thank you very much for watching this video